Hello again, friend. I'm Elliot Alderson. I'm a computer engineer, and a couple months ago, my imaginary friend slash alter ego, Mr. Robot, started a hacker cell that destroyed Evil Corp, a company that killed my father. Since then, my girlfriend got murdered, I tried to make out with my sister, and I became addicted to morphine. But right now, it's kind of hard to focus on any of that, because I'm in somebody else's body. For most people, it would be weird to wake up as somebody else, but I see it as an opportunity. I had a dream about morphine last night. We got a cabin together in the woods, and we lived there for 70 years watching each other grow old. I've tried to have sex with Morphe before. Hey, kiddo! Everybody meet my imaginary friend. What you doing? Mr. Robot. What's going on? You're not wearing any pants. That's impossible. I always wear pants. What sick game are you playing? Quiet game. Three, two, one, go. Shit. Now I can't ask him any questions. Evil Corp. I guess they discovered what I was doing and trapped my mind in an alternate reality. Are those... Cheez-Its? The only thing I hate more than cheese is American capitalism. I need to free myself. If this simulation's code is connected to the university, all I need to do is hack the Dean, and then I can get back to reality. When you look at a computer, what do you see? You probably see a bunch of buttons. I also see a bunch of buttons. I also see a screen and the small camera on top of the screen. What was I talking about? Is that morphine? Now to meet with the Dean. I sent him an email that said my roommate was aggressively rubbing vinegar all over our toilet seat. It's important when you hack to only bring the essentials. If you bring too much, people will suspect you're up to something. I always get nervous when people watch me. Is there a bathroom? Uh, yeah, it's just down the The bathroom is the perfect place to snort morphine without anybody finding out. That's better. You can go in right now.
roommate keeps putting vinegar on the toilet seat. If, if I if I do understand, that's that, that's how I see it. Am I wrong? You tell me. Yeah, my my foot keeps slipping in the toilet whenever I try to poop. That 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 makes no sense. It, it just doesn't. When I poop, I stand. So, what, what, what can I help you with? I need to get him out of the room so I can hack the university. But how? Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw your wife out in the reception area. She, she said your, your daughter was selling crack to her classmates and that, and that before anybody could stop her, she went up to the whiteboard and, and she drew a penis. <laughs> Pretty serious stuff. You should head out there. You should go out there. You should leave. Your I'm I'm gonna go and, and tell Lily to call security. You're a very concerning kid. Ugh. Lydia! Lydia! Bye. Have fun with your family. He's gone. Now that he's gone, I have the perfect opportunity to do one more line of morphine. Oh. Oh. Okay, just one more, and then I'll get to the hack, and then I'll... Looks like my morphine addiction won again. Speaking of which... <laughs> what are you doing on the floor? I don't... Tell me what your plan is! I won't let you kill any more people, Mr. Robot! What did you just call me? Mr. Robot! I'm not afraid to stand up to you. Anymore. Because this. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I'm Elliot Anderson, an extraordinary hacker whose biggest obstacle is his addiction to morphine. Come with me, there's something I have to show you. Is it the servers? Come on, come on. Is it the servers? Come on. I've already seen your servers. I know all about them, I made them myself, you're me. So yeah, you're actually not Elliot Anderson. Last night you just watched Mr. Robot season one, and we know how you get with TV. I don't, I, what do you mean I get with TV? I watch TV, I enjoy TV, I don't, I don't get with TV, what are you, what are you talking about right now? So, we all watch TV, I mean like, The Amazing Race and Survivor and... Diners, drive-ins, and dives, but when you watch, like, Batman the Animated Series... Oh, that show's sick. Yeah, I That know, show's but, awesome. But, but, like, when you watch, like, Batman the Animated Series, or, like, Batman the Brave and the Bold on oh, Cartoon Network, which is also a good show, I know. But there was one time when you dressed up as the Cape Crusader and beat up my dad for looking like the Penguin. That's when it all came back to me. I never did morphine. I can't hack. I do stand when I poop, but that's just because everything is more fun when you get gravity involved. Today I learned a valuable lesson. You should never let a show tell you, what's this?
consuming a big building? Morphine! Don't do it! I'll find you! The only thing more incredible than my detective s skills is my wonderful sense of smell! And morphine smells like shit! I will stop at nothing! Mom! Dad! They both died! What did Alfred teach me? Alfred said don't do morphine. He was high on morphine at the time. I beat the shit out of Alfred. I'll do it to you. He's my closest friend and companion. I sent him to the hospital. Morphine's evil. And if you ever consider it, I'll consider beating the fuck out of you. And I'm not just talking to you kids out there. If you're like 30 and you wake up and you think, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do morphine. That won't stop me. Your age means nothing to me. This is Batman. I'm Batman. I won't stop until nobody does morphine. This has been brought to you by PBS.